from CJ Sweet Life. Let me just check and make sure that I can get my computer going, make sure we have some followers here today. Today we're speaking, or I'm going to be speaking about mono meals, which is definitely probably something that a lot of you may not have heard of. I certainly did not know about mono meals until um, quite recently, um, about in the last year or, year or so. Um, but I found out about basically eating um, a mono meal, which is eating like one type of food in a meal or at one time. And I started finding um, out about eating this way from actually um, a YouTube, um, someone that I watch on YouTube a lot called Dan McDonald also known as the Life Regenerator. He's a raw foodist or big advocate for raw living foods. And I started watching him. Hold on, let me make sure. Can you see me a little better? Um, I started watching him more and more and I just liked his simple approach by just eating one meal or one food item at a time. It just seemed, sorry, I'm like, my thing is a little off, you know, let's see. There we go. Got it. Let's see. Make sure we can get, okay. Sorry, technical difficulties here. Okay, so yeah, I started watching Dan McDonald on YouTube and I really just liked how he applied the simplicity of eating to his routine. And of course, you know, you, you may watch some, some more of the raw foodists and um, as I start learning, I'll talk even more and more about the art of detoxification. But even if you're not even into vegan life or raw foods or, or whatnot, you can start eating like this just as a way to kind of check back with your body in, in some ways. And I'm just going to um, briefly talk about some of the great ways is by doing mono meals is in the way it helps ease digestion. And, you know... Basically, um, digest when your digestion is off, like I feel like your whole health is off, and like your your stomach is the core to your health, right? There's, um, I've heard there's more nerve endings in your stomach than there is in your brain. It's just that's how important um, digestion is into in with our well being. So. To kind of talk about digestion, I want to kind of start in talking about something that, again, I'm, I'm very new to. It's something that I've started really looking into in the last, again, like year or so. And that is um, proper food combination. Now, in the standard um, American diet, we actually don't do very well at properly combining our foods. And that's why I think we we really suffer a lot from digestive issues and um, illnesses related to, you know, what's going on in the gut. So the main way to like kind of break it down is we really shouldn't be combining proteins, fats, starches, and even fruit. So these four like main um, types of foods should not be combined. Um, you can always combine them with vegetables. Vegetables are kind of like the main uh, good food as far as being able to kind of uh, switch it around. But, you know, in the sta standard American diet, we typically, it's, it's meat and potatoes, right? And even when I was really getting into healthy food, I say, I was doing a the clean eat diet, which their main philosophy is 
pairing um, clean protein with a carb and a fat at every setting. And you were eating five or six meals a day. So every like two, two to, excuse me, two to three hours, you were eating this, this type of food. And so I started noticing, especially when I was uh, playing professionally, this is at a time when I was dealing with a lot of digestive issues. And I think some of it stemmed from a certain stress that I might have been doing as far as traveling everywhere. So that puts a, a lot of stress on your body. So I would, I would eat my meals and it was automatically, like pretty much afterwards, I would automatically feel kind of sick and um, had tummy troubles. And so I think a lot of this stemmed from poorly combined foods. Okay, so, you know, when our body needs, like, for starches and proteins, each have their own kind of enzymes to properly di digest that food. So, when you're consuming, say, the steak and the potato, right, you're actually, you know, your body is calm fighting itself and, and being able to um, use those proteins excuse me, those enzymes to actually properly break down the food. So instead of breaking down the food, the enzymes are kind of, um, you know, overriding each other. So instead of breaking it down, they simply just, you know, your body can't properly digest it. It, probably, it can't probably eliminate and your body's not properly being able to use that food for energy as it needs. So instead of it, the food actually basically getting out of the, of the stomach and being able to eliminate, the food actually sits and it ferments and um, unfortunately it rots. Uh, and that's where, you know, we get a lot of issues as far as... Um, you might get acid reflux. A lot of times we get lethargic after big meals like that or um, big meals. Doesn't have to be big meals. It's just um, proper meal um, combinations, right? Um, so you might, some people might get leaky gut, but over time when, you know, these certain foods are fermenting in your stomach, I mean, that's a lot of people have yeast problems, right? You, have, you hear a lot of people wanting to um, go on yeast cleanses or, and whatnot. And a lot of this can be taken care of by mainly eating the right foods, right? Um, but also how you're eating these foods. Um, when, when the body or when the food is fermenting, you also get mucus in the body so or in the stomach so instead of being able to properly absorb the food there's a mucus lining in the stomach not not allowing to the nutrients to penetrate the stomach wall so i mean that's you, you could also relate allergies or food sensitivities to that part because you're not um being able to properly get the nutrients and properly absorb your foods. Okay. So that was a mouthful, but you know, again, just mono foods are just a great way to um, give your body a break from having to digest so much food at one time. And I really, I really have been enjoying just the simplicity of being able to, to eat just one meal at a time or one food at a time. So that's kind of like the second part is, or my two or three are basically that mono meals help simplify your life, but it also helps to retrain your um, taste buds, if you will. So I like to say if, you know, if you want to live simple, you need to first eat simple. It's all related. And 
you know, make your food only as complicated as you want your life to be. I can't tell you how many times it's, you know, I get, you might get stressed out about like making dinner or um, figuring, you know, the meal planning part of it. And it's just, it's been such a relief to just be able to like go grab like mangoes or, or especially in the summer, I love just having watermelon by itself. And you don't have to worry about so much of the compli complicated parts of um, having to make a meal. You just get to simply enjoy the taste and, and eating the food, right? Um, kind of going back to what I first started out, like my first video was on having intuitive eating or in mindfulness while you're eating just you know eating one one item doesn't have to be boring just because it's simple doesn't mean it's it's going to be boring you can you can really focus on being present and that's what you know mindfulness is is creating awareness while you're eating you can simply you know focus on the task at hand uh, you know you can simply focus on the taste of this one juicy amazing mango that we fortunately get um, so often down here in Corpus Christi you can focus on that and you know you can your body kind of shifts into being able to you know let you know when it's full because you don't have all these different distractions and taste and and ingredients and, and textures to have to like, um, you know, think if you're full. You just can sit and taste and allow your body to tell you, right? So I guess going into the simplicity of life too is I just want to say that, you know, I think we are overstimulated in our life anyways. I mean, Look at me, I've got like a computer and a phone going on. It's crazy right now. But, you know, it's just, I think we have a hard time just allowing us to concentrate on one thing at a time. We always have to have, A, something going. Like, we always have to have the TV go going and the phone. Or it's just, you know, or maybe you're a mom and things are always chaotic. And just being able to sit down and enjoy your one piece of food could be that like balance that you need to be able to just check in with yourself. Um, so kind of take talking about even just simplifying your taste buds and retraining your, your, um, your palate. Uh, and this goes again with like just having uh, so much going on in your plate and in your life. You know, if you're wanting to simplify your life, simplify your food again. So why do we have to have, you know, one meal have 30 different ingredients in it? It doesn't need to be that way. You don't, I hate when I like look at recipes online and I usually judge the dish, not just like on a picture. Obviously I love Pinterest and having pictures, but I usually judge it on the, like the ingredient list. Like, is there like, 50 ingredients or just like five that I can deal with and things I already have in my, in my uh, kitchen. So just simply simplifying how many ingredients you have. But, you know, there's a quote, it was like, if you're not hungry enough for an apple, then you're not really hungry, right? If you're not hungry enough to sit down and enjoy this one food, then, you know, you're not really hungry, right? And I think we already, and I kind of even saw in this quote too, is just talking about, you know, just enjoying like that simple apple is what um, this author talked about, enjoying the apple. And once you have like one apple and cut it up and slice it, and you might grab for another one if you're still hungry, but you start to enjoy the Christmas, Chris of it you enjoy the sweetness of it you enjoy the tartness of it 
but you don't need to add caramel to it. You don't need to put like sauce to it. You don't need to bake it. You don't need to add anything else. And you know, our society, we've over um, seasoned, I guess I should say, um, especially in a, a standard American diet. If you're eating fast food or you're eating foods from packages that contain so much sodium and sugar, it the sodium and sugar, for instance, it literally kills your taste buds. So when they regrow, just like any other cell in your body, any other tissue in your body, it can regrow. And so you need to kind of just go back to allowing your taste buds to actually taste the pure, simple form of it. It's like, I feel like I had all this stuff that I needed to like get off my chest. <laughs> um, yes, life has definitely changed so much since I've had simplified my food. Very good. Um, let's see. But, I don't know, I guess that's kind of like all I wanted to say tonight is just, I guess the more and more I want to really relate to my audience and the clients that I work with is, it's so important, A, to simplify your life with the food that you're eating, because, like, food doesn't have to be compli complicated. Nourishment doesn't have to be complicated. Like, if you, if you thought about even just how we were supposed to be in nature, um, you wouldn't eat multiple different kinds of food. You know, first of all, we're probably islanders or, or we're not cavemen. We probably navigated to um, becoming cavemen, but we started out being people that ate fruit or fruititarians. And so um, you would probably just eat like, you know, if you, there was a mango tree or whatever, you'd probably just eat the mangoes. You wouldn't be scavenging for different foods. If there was a, an amazing fruit tree right in front of you, you would simply sit down and eat that food. Um, and so, like, less is more, I guess, right? <laughs> it doesn't have to be crazy, complicated life. And I think once you start seeing that, like, and you start, you know, just try it out for yourself. Uh, hopefully you're watching here and you have uh, the resources to get the fruit and if not there are awesome websites out there that actually like you can ship the food to you so if you don't have the resources to um, a great grocery store that has the fruit and whatnot but you know just try it out for yourself it doesn't you don't have to tell people all that you're going a raw vegan it doesn't have to be anything crazy you just just try it out for breakfast one morning and see test it out for yourself just see especially if you have digestive issues just see how you feel see how that um how how energetic you might feel see if your stomach issues resides and you know i, I I hope this helps you guys and inspires you and maybe educates you a little bit on just, um, you know, food doesn't have to be complicated. <laughs> but thank you so much for checking in with me today. I was a little off my game, I feel, but, you know, I soldiered on and got right through this video and hopefully, like I said, just inspired you to try something new and and hopefully it helps you in your journey to, be, to becoming healthier and happier. Again, if you like this video, please um, give it a thumbs up. Give my page a like and share with your friends and families. I'm going to be doing a few more videos. Um, and like tomorrow, I'm going to be sitting down and talking about just ways of eating out and, and dealing with social uh, situations. We're going to be going over yoga with a few of my um, friends from Coastal Wellness. We're going to talk about yoga, breathing exercises to be able to 
relax on a on an hourly, daily basis, whatever you want to say. Um, what else? We're going to talk about sleep and how to get better sleep and how to maintain better sleep and, and start a routine that way. And also, I'm going to dive into talking about the importance of getting regular sunlight in your life and how that can affect your your mood and um, your overall health. So I'm really looking forward to this week and looking forward to the awesome experts that are going to be able to sit down and uh, let me just kind of pick their brain and, and help you know help them along in their in their business and um, being able to educate their followers as well. But um, again, I love you guys. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Let's see. Ooh.